And once again, we're back with the loading screen instead of just nothing much. Very pretty. Alrighty. So we're still close to death. We have a whole bunch of uh, achievements there popping up. We know better now to earn money. Look at the church holdings. 43 gold. Our vassals are basically useless for money. We earn a decent amount now from our own holdings, but I think my main error in the past has been ignoring the church there. Because it was a chore in CK2 and didn't matter all that much, but now, especially if you're a Catholic feudal lord, you have this issue here. This guy there. Who, by the way, should go ahead and go convert. Convert! Make sure we have strong muscles everywhere. We do. She is quite literally our best ruler so far. Empress Caesarea. And she has done so well. Where should we go next? Don't have a castle spelly here. Nothing there. Ah, right. I wanted to absorb these smaller ones here, I think. Let's just declare a bunch of wars at once. Alright, there. Aren't here. Aren't here. Now let's just win these two up here first. Not mark. So we raise our troops here. And I think we go for the whole shebang. City of Beyond. Now we are in no need of funds. We will be able to afford our own troops. Hooray, huzzah! Oh, no, no longer. Uh, let's set a bunch of troops aside to siege here as we move forward. I like that. The, the splitting of besiegers, that can be super useful. So as you kind of move toward the enemy, just split a few besiegers, they do the work. Look how they very uniformly move away from us. So I can just keep hunting them. As the work in the background is being done. Well, that's one. Ah, we caught the right army. And that was another very lucky break for us. Let's disband everyone. Alright. Those are some new claims. We're fighting a rebellion, it seems. Seven hundred and twenty prestige to get these two here, Nuremberg and Ansbach. Might be worthwhile. Do we still have a truce with you? We do not. 
We could go for Tuscany. We need Spoleto and Ancona. But Spoleto is the biggest one that we can get right now, I believe. Let's go get Spoleto in a Holy War. A new rally point here over there. Probably raising his troops somewhere here. What? 28,000. Okay, we'll do the same thing as before. Moving through here, we'll split off our sieges. Oh. Siege stay. There's some armies of his north. How many do we lose? 315. That's not small. And then we keep combining those sieging armies. Now we go north. Losing more troops as we march. Faction created against us. That's no good. But it looks like none of our vassals are actually in any factions against us. And we keep doing it. Just march around. And so we haven't seen his armies yet. There are some. Split of besiegers. Where is the enemy? Has not yet appeared at our shores. As I can tell. He should have armies. He should be encouraged by my small armies standing around here to attack something. Doesn't seem that he is encouraged to do that. Keep doing this. Actually, primary siege force just kind of follows the big killer blob. Ah, there they are. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch anyway. Okay, we need to bring back the army. Let's make sure they have a solid commander. Our reinforcements are coming. But 
but they don't see them yet. We would win this, so we definitely want to seek this battle. The A team! Da -na -na -na. I'm so sorry about that. So they just landed. They are weakened by that. Let's send these back to Rome. They will return. Anti claim. Oh, look. Look who it is Croatia. Let's. Group up with these guys. We'll we'll break that. No trouble. I think we can split this and send the half back. Let's disband the half. Let's earn a little bit while we fight the war. We have died. No 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 stop game. Stop pause. So Empress Caesarea, the first of Champagne, has abandoned her mortal coil at 67 years of age. She died from a seizure. A known murderer, she will atone for her unspeakable crimes in the next life. Empress Caesarea ascends the throne. A pious and humble woman, many fear that Caesarea may have been better suited for a church rather than the throne. So we take over at 22 years of age. And we do not earn as well because I believe the church is no longer paying us correctly. Uh, so let us check. We need a lifestyle choice and... Okay, we are in the martial tree apparently. So in the martial tree we will stay. Uh, I think we're going to go for authority. She probably needs some dread to keep this... Um, elope scheme power. What is elope? I think we'll abandon this tree for now and we'll go for um, Overseer, Natural Dread plus 15. So we just have a bit of Dread to work with. Um, yeah, so this siege here is done, so we can send our A-team over there to deal with this. We'll send these just in case, Levy Reinforcements. Because there is more soldiers. There are more soldiers. They have a whole of 9,000. Let's see if we can't catch anyone before they leave these shores. Looks like we might be able to. Come on, arrive. There we go. So right now, obviously, we have the short end of the stick here. But with our troops appearing at the field of battle, just in time, things get turned around a little. And we hacked them to Piesas, Earldom of Surrey. Let's combine our army again. Why can't I group you guys? Oh, because... The second army is actually my army. Okay, let's see. Do we have all our trebuchets? Yes, we do. Um, let's check our vassals. How are we doing here? We have a bunch who really, really hate us for several reasons. Let's check this. This clan guy here. A 
Is it worthwhile swaying him? I don't know. Let's check our council. Our council is quite content. And he endorses us. But I think he might give us more the more he likes us, no? Let's sway him. Uh, I have holdings that I can't holding. I think it's time to give away Vernon or Evroy or something. Let's give away Evroy to our son and ward. But he is not. Hmm. It's my heir. Ah, uh, he's the heir to the county of Evra, anyway. Why am I orthodox? Is he Catholic? Damn it! Why am I orthodox? That's not what I'm trying to do. Why am I orthodox? That is deeply unsettling. Why are you frail? He's hail. Nothing. But she will get a matrilineal match. Go by alliance power. That she have East Sax or Hvik. Um, yeah. You are... You are a bit stronger. Let's do that. Pick. We want internal alliances, ideally. Duchy of Brabant. Is internal, I believe. Yes, it is. Let's go with her. She's seven years older. So she might not produce us any good as. Let's go with Fick. So we got both of our English lords. To be in an alliance with us. Let's go there. I pay someone now. <laughs> Don't care. Check the factions again. They might have changed since last we checked. It's getting compulsive. We have dread. Yes, we're getting dread. Very good. Look at that. Huge gains here. I think we'll just split off um, our besiegers here. And then turn back with the main host. To deal with whatever they might send us. Oh, would you look at that? Where are they going? We can just adjust to that. Ah. Sending your troops, are yeah? Good stuff.
On to battle. Ah, oh, we still need to get rid of uh, domain limit. But first, let us enforce our demands here. Yeah? Expand all our troops, earn money again. Well, 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 well. Let's ransom a bunch. 25, 10, 30. Always go with the men giving the most. Usurp. Usurpation is done. We have a disabled building in Spoleto. It will, it will be re-enabled next month. Okay. Now we don't want to hold all this anyway. Or rather, we really can't. Ooh. Can create another kingdom. Kingdom of East Francia. Should. Uh, we should. Because that probably gives us a whole bunch of castles' bellies over there. Add laws. We'll have to look at that into that in a moment. Um, for now, we have too many held duchies. Oh no! So um, <laughs> we keep Latium for now, and we will go ahead and give all this stuff here away. So Orvieto. Spoleto, Teramo, Avazano, Lanciano. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Give it to our son and ward. Let's do that. So he gets all these. And this. What am I giving him? Yeah. And we'll grant this to... Yeah. People with some claims here. Count your sancerre. Like a French Catholic for this. So he gets Spoleto and this one here and our son he gets the Duchy of Spoleto and we have this County of Tau over here um Let's grant this to someone else. To our knight. So it's gone. So we can keep all the good stuff. At home. Oh look. There's some growth as well. So is this kid still heir to something? You still air? No, it doesn't look like it. He's a duke and he's happy with it. How do I become Christian now? Three hundred gold for Are oh, you joking? That's probably good. How's head? Uh, Lord Vigor. Interesting conversation. Innovative military strategy. Raucous entertainment. I don't know why these are... I think it's just kind of a block that grows in this direction. It's not like two lines. These are two lines. This is a block. I think that's how it works. Him! You can marry him to something as well. 
More alliances at home in East Sax. How old is he? Five. Duchy of Sicily. Is that even mine? No, it's part of the Byzantines. Brabant. I mean, it's not a huge... Oh, it's pretty big. 11 and 5. The biggest age difference. Let's go for that. Can always change your mind later. Let us go for the journey and we definitely... Hey, where's my 300 gold? I want the 300 gold option. Wow, okay. We spend 600 gold to go to the Vatican. Ah, we have a new head of faith, of course, the Patriarch. So he can send us money anyway. Can negotiate alliances. Prince Bernard of Champagne. Duke Gilbert of Frisia. We will do that, definitely. More internal alliances. Time to depart. We get some money from the church. Lots of ransom money coming in. Now we have a whole bunch of alliances at home, which will help us be in control. So I think we pretty much have a whole bunch of du jour claims now. The whole of Hildesheim would be ours. Or 600 though. Let's see what else we can do first. Could seize this whole thing for 270, that's much more attractive as an option. What can we do with you? This for 630 is also more interesting, so we could get a good blobby amount down here. Hot mug, what could we get from you? Geofresia. So let's go down here first. And we seize this duchy for 270. Do I even have a rally point here? Well, sort of. Let's move it over there real quick. And raise everyone. Let's try our A-team first. How many local troops can we raise here? We'll see what we can do with this. Dedicated pilgrimage, monthly piety, diplomacy. Yeah. This is all for the sake of appearances. Our people will like us better, hopefully.
We have arrived, we gain Pilgrim. Everyone is happy. Let's check our fascination right now. Banking is almost done. What is this? Domain taxes plus 5%. Yeah, that's not bad. Development growth plus 10%. Also not bad. We're losing a siege up north. Back home. What is the Ostsporon kingdom? Ostro Sopron. That's not bad. Alright, let's go north. We might have to rally some local troops from around here to just reinforce our troops a little bit. Just to get some meat on the bones, as it were. Right now we're looking for a solid win here. Will we catch them? No, but they will come for us. Which is very positive for us because that means they cross a river. More commander traits, better commander. And we are having a few soldiers reinforcing still. It is looking to be our advantage anyway, so we might win this without reinforcements, but you know. We have the men, let's bring them in. No need to be callous. So, they flee south, so we will flee with them and likely catch them as they try to retreat to their capital. Will be ransomed instantaneously. I don't want to call anyone. Should we get this alliance here? County of Oldenburg. Yeah. He's a pretty strong vassal as well up there. All the internal alliances. That's important right now. We have a big, big empire to control. We have some very strong vassals who need controlling. Alright, let's raise some more troops here. Just in case we need to reinforce. I like playing it safe these days. Looks alright. Looks like we're winning. Send half of them back. We don't need everyone. I like this. Now. Now that I understand it a little bit better, I like this military system quite well. It's better than the retinue levy system before. Because your retinues, they were way too precious to actually put into a war. Now your men at arms, they make sense. They cost money, but they make sense. And you can do a mix of... Uh... No. <laughs> I don't care about that dude. You can keep him. Faction created and faction disbanded. What factions do we have here? This one this is the strongest one. These are just... Ah, oh, hello. You have a bunch of people in you. Let's sway this lady. She already likes us a little bit. I would like to convert to Catholicism. How do we manage this? 
by marrying a Catholic. How do we marry a Catholic? By killing the one that isn't a Catholic. How much? 115. Done. How much? 105. Done. How much? Now that's a bit too much. We shall do with these two agents. Looks like we're taking most of Switzerland here. We'll just allow him to settle into some sort of siege somewhere, because we are just rushing through them anyway. Another battle. We'll do it. We have discovered banking. Which I think was an influence thing. Let's go for men at arms, because we already have this influence here. Oh, that's a good thing. Well, he has all the potential here with the position. He even is a flexible leader and stuff. Okay, so our plot is discovered, so we need to abandon it. Big shame. Dear husband. Can you be a knight? How do I get rid of you? You are sadly of the wrong religion as well. Darn it. How do we get rid of a, f of a husband now? A new faction was created. Guys? Guys? I would totally love to be Catholic. Honestly. But love it. We gain 100 fame. Allies share a lot of fame. Except no allies ever came. Good. So now we hold Zürich and Chur. And we can usurp this duchy which we will immediately do and we'll grant these titles to people around the realm should we grant it to a son and heir oh, there's a there's a dynastic man he gets all this and he will also get Duchy. There we go. Yeah. We could convert to Karaism, which is a Jewish faith. Let's get reclusive. Um. What? Oh, you're the Empire of Francia now, is it? You're the Empire of Francia. Is that what you are? The Empire of Francia, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. Look at them. They're humongous. Crazy big.
Let's check our men at arms. Those can probably still use some upgrading. Let's upgrade the top rows first. That cost a pretty penny, but shall be worth it. So how many troops do you have these days? 22,000. So at least, at least you're not stronger than us. We are pregnant once more. Our natural dread is 15, which is what we'll always have. Do I want to inherit it too? Why must you be insular, Christian? I mean, it's probably better than what we have. Let's go insular, Christian. And everyone will convert, apparently. Well, almost everyone. 19 out of 28 vassals will convert. Insular Christianity, if you didn't know, is British Christian, basically. If we go insular, the last bastion of true Catholicism breaks let's go for insula it's, it's it's the next best worst option that we have i definitely don't want to be um orthodox so now we are catholic again however we are insula catholic so insula insula catholic should have different results so monasticism, vows of poverty, pastoral isolation, male dominated, pluralist, temple holdings, other Christian face, uh, considered astray instead of hostile. There we go, polygamous. We can have up to four spouses. And if we don't have those four spouses, we actually uh, are considered bad. I wonder if we ever get to create our own religion. I think at some point I would want to try that. Uh, okay, so for now, insular holy sites are a little bit different than those of Catholicism. Um, so let's see. Can we even get more spouses? I don't think we can because we're just a woman. <laughs> but I think we can... No? Ah, well. There's no head of faith here either. Controlled territory, defender advantage plus five. A woman's home. Is that... Does that switch? If I'm a woman? And does it say a man's home? That would be so cool. Increase control in county progress gain. Dread gain plus 20%. Siege progress against revolts. Oof. Faction military power. Threshold for vassals, plus 20. Ouch. Mercenary higher cost. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I found the tree. I found the tree for you, new young ruler. Who are you? What do you want? Duchy of Dorbarth. Uh, yeah. That's outside of our realm, is it? Let's see. Uh, let's get our standard view back. 
Uh, we'll send the A team. We will send the A team to Gloucestershire. No, that's Leicestershire. Gloucestershire is somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. Let us attempt to translate the old scroll here. 80% chance to get a martial lifestyle. Experience of 100 and one martial, one learning, and a commander bonus. Lessons from the past. Okay, so Thermopylae or the old ancient text Thermopylae. By blocking the narrow coastal pass at Thermopylae, the massively outnumbered Greek troops held off the Persian army for seven days. During the last day, when King Leonidas was outflanked, he dismissed the bulk of his army and guarded their retreat in a glorious last stand. The heroism of the troops is a testament to the power of a patriotic army defending its native lands. Shall do that. Doesn't really look like our vassal needs us much, but here we are. I like that vassals can call in their rulers. Another daughter. She will be a Caesarea. Lovely little girl. Alliance power. The Despotate of Hellas. Uh, matrilineal, obviously. I'm sorry. I don't care about anything else. Prince Gregoras of Hellas. More East Sacks. Wicke. Oldenburg. Duchy of Burgundy. I don't think we have a Duchy of Burgundy thing yet. Burgundy is probably kind of big. Let's go with that. So he's four. He's ten. Illegitimate bastard of our dynasty. Let's get the illegitimate bastard of our dynasty then. Ten years older. Now let's get this guy. And one more alliance secured inside the realm. Ah, we have mothered many children, getting us a general opinion modifier. I wanted to slaughter my husband for being of the wrong faith, but here we are. Why is this not helping for the war score? Um, it's not cool. Go to East Riding up there. I think at some point we'll have to face off against Frankia there. At some point we just have to. Occupations are nothing. Do I even get contribution? Yeah, okay, we get contribution at least. Oh, the enemy lands. So we have a new spy master position open. Do we have someone good who is deserving and in need? Duchy of Jülich. You're very good, this thing. Let's get the Duchy of Bar because he is he is definitely stronger than uh, Julich to us, if I remember correctly. And Bar didn't completely fall apart. Now look at that. You 
You know what? Let's go kill these guys. Call to war a peasant revolt, surely. Certainly. What peasant revolt? Down there. Let's just raise everything and roll over it. Give them a command. Ah, we! Oui. Ourselves, we will lead personally and probably die. Well, we didn't die. Ain't that something? Now we can disband everyone, and everyone is happy! Including myself. Frankia is really a thorn in my side. But, there's more here to take first. Gröningen. We have this claim here, my friend. It costs us a pretty penny. Yes, the French are superior moral fiber. We take the prestige. So what else could we do here? It's county on 90. Anything here? Oops. Hey Bohemia, what can we do with you? Seize this whole duchy here. Because it is de jour ours. And I think we shall. 450 for a good amount of Frankia. Strengthening our position further. But this is a matter for another time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.